One, the gate dropped, and it was uh, Manuel Jacopi on the I Fly Am off about seven or eight gates over, who put it across everybody else as they all backed off to uh, hold a tight line. He had James Dern and Mike Crass and Brad Anderson in there with him as well. Anderson around about sixth or seventh place at this moment in time, but that was when Jacopi took the lead. And from there, though, this race kind of took a life of its own. Crass had his turn leading at the front, or did he? Briefly, because Jacopi and him were side by side, Jeff. Yeah, they were side by side pretty much the entire first lap, depending on uh, which turn it was. Didn't quite know who actually had the lead, but a great battle there. You had Smets back there and Anderson got himself into fifth, and then from fifth to third in the space of that corner right there, about 50 meters, 100 meters, something like that. And then he went after Jacopi and his championship rival, Mike Kress, who's second in points at this point in the race. Anderson then found his way into second with that move on Kress. In, in fact, he took the lead at that point. It was uh, James Dunn who was the danger man. Yeah, Dunn paced the leaders for a little bit, and then that halfway point, he really just found the flow and had a great lap time where the other riders started to uh, fail and make a couple little, little mistakes. He just flew by. Anderson, who leads the championship, having picked up three race wins in a second before here, was looking to add another top three score. Uh, not being outside of the top three yet, nor two has Mike Kress. Kress, though, faded disappointingly back to third, didn't he, on the final uh, second half of the race. But for James Dunn, this was probably the only mistakes that he made, just coming up through here for the final time. But he ran it out the final turn, headed towards the finish line, and it was James Dunn who was victorious in EMX 300, race one. Good job, James. La zona commerciale allo stand ma... Tanto abbigliamento. Giusti sì, incredibili per voi. Occasione da non perdere al villaggio commerciale e poi la lotteria, la lotteria, la pesca di beneficenza. James Dunn, congratulations. Your first race win of the season under very tough conditions. Just tell us how difficult was it out there with the heat? Oh, it's, uh, I liked the track at the start. I felt really, really good. I, uh, I paced myself a little bit because I knew it was going to be so hot. So um, a few of them went by, but then, yeah, just got into my groove and, and rode my race. And I've got to thank Bob for getting me back to this point. It's really, really, really something for me to get back to, you know, racing these events. So, yeah, I can't thank him enough, really. It's amazing. Good luck for tomorrow. Thanks, James.